Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the injection context in the Angular 18. In Angular, the injection context defines the scope with which dependencies can be injected into the component services or other injectable classes. It determines the availability of providers and the resolution of dependencies during the creation of an injectable object. So in simple thing, what I can, what I want to tell you is the dependency injection system. So whatever the dependency injection system, which we have seen it up to now relies internally in a runtime context. So that means whenever you want to inject any service or anything into a class or anything, so that injectable services should be done internally in a runtime context. So in which they, in that runtime context only the current injector will be available. So this means that injectors can only work when code is executed in a runtime context. So that means whenever you want to inject a service or any class or anything, if you want to inject a service into any, into another component or any class, then you need to understand that it, the inject, the inject will be working only in a runtime context. So that means in that runtime context only you can able to inject the, uh, service or anything. So this injection context in which situations it will be available. Just I want, I want to show you, for example, let's say that I, let's go to the example. So I will, I will go into here and I will remove this entire thing and I will use only the app iPhone widget so that it will be clear for us and let's go to the widget.component.ts also and I will remove this all host directives so that you'll be able to see this is the widget works. Now the first one is, so here this is an component. Okay. So during construction, during construction means whenever you are trying to initialize the constructor of an injectable classes or a component. So whichever the classes you will be having a thread component or a thread injectable like that. So in the constructor, the runtime context, which I am trying to tell you, right? The runtime context will be available. So in this constructor, you will be able to inject the, uh, what I want to tell you is the uh, classes, the services or anything you can be able to inject it. So this is one place where you can inject the services. This is as usual, you all people know about this one in the constructor, we can inject the services. So this is the place where in the component or any class, the constructor, you will be having the injective, the injection thing. And we have also an another concept that is nothing but, uh, for example, let's say that instead of injecting this one. So in Angular, we have another thing like for the field also, you can initialize for in this classes. So like this, for example, let's say that logger is equal to inject. So you can have a keyword that is nothing but inject the method and inject you can have a console dot log console logger service and here directly you can able to see the same output so now we are able to see the same output for this one so in this way also you can able to inject it not only like this so you can also go here and here you also you can implement it this dot logger is equal to you can also use it like this and here this logger of console dot console logger sorry console logger service so this also works without any problem now if you try to see then also you'll be able to see the output so that means you need to understand that in the constructor also the console logger so for example what i want to tell is in the constructor also the injection context will be working so that is the main thing which i want to explain to you so in the constructor of the class so the injection, the runtime context will be available so that you can use in the constructor directly as a properties, you can inject the services or otherwise you can inject the, uh, you can inject, you can inject the service using the inject method also. So this is one thing which you need to understand. So now this is the injection con, this is called as an injection context. So in we, in others, in Angular, in Angular, not only here, we have, we have also in another places where we can inject the services so in the injection context will be available in other services also so in which places this injection context will be available is so another one is a factory function so whenever you are trying to create a factory function in that factory function also so the injection context will be available for example let's say that we are having a logger factory okay so let's try to create a logger factory i will try to explain you one by one so logger dot factory dot ts file so in this logger.factory.ts file, let's say that uh, logger.factory.ts file. So actually it is available. So I don't, I think so it has been mixed. So let's say I will be using export constant logger factory is equal to. So here I can use the provide. Uh, I can use a console logger service. Okay. 
let's import this console logger service okay and i want to use a factory logger function sorry logger function so i am using a something like logger function which we will be introducing this one so that's it now here i will be having um, constant logger function is equal to it is a function and here so we need to have a test service so that test service uh, so we are having a another service that is nothing but a test service in this one we are having a status so using this status i need to load if it is true means i need to load a console logger service or otherwise if it is not true means then i need to inject in another service that is nothing but file logger service okay let's go here so for this one what we need to do we need to use a dependencies here so i will be sending the test service so fine and here we need to capture it test service sorry test service oh sorry test service of type test service okay and now here what i can do logger function test service so return test service dot status is there means then you can able to send new console logger service okay or otherwise you can send new file logger service that's it so this is our code and now we need to inject this logger factory into here so here i can use the providers and here i can use logger factory logger factory i can provide it now where we can inject this one so here directly i can inject the private logger it is of type console dot console logger service let's let's assume it so here i will try to remove this one and here also i will remove this one let's see whether we can able to get it or not now if you try to see the output see now we are able to see that console logger service has been printed so how we are able to get this one so because of this console logger service which we have did it so for example let's say that here i want to inject this one okay so here instead of using this one let's say that i will be using something like constant um, console logger is equal to inject i can use an inject so here also the inject will work so why because the injection context will be will be available here also constant file logger is equal to inject of file logger service so now instead of sending this one i can directly send this console logger and here i can send this sorry file logger okay so now we are able to get it now we are getting an error that you are having a circular dependency why because so here we are using this console logger and return again this widget or component is using a console logger so this creates an circular dependency why because this component is using this console logger in return this log logger factory is again consuming the logger service so that means it is create a circular sir circular dependency so that means dependency is depending on the same dependency like this it is having instead of this one providing like this what we can do it is so here we can create an injection token export constant logger underscore token okay we can create it like this and here you can create a new injection token injection token of and this is of type logger okay which we have created already interface for this one and i i will give it name for this one logger that's it so now so this logger okay i don't know and yeah logger and this logger token instead of having here i will use this logger token here and in our widget or component dot as well see now we are able to see the same output right now so now we are able to observe the same output now here if i try to make this test service dot false whether we can able to see the output or not let's try to see so now i will try i have made it so still we are able to see the console logger why because so here we have directly given the console logger service you should not provide it like this we should provide it as an logger okay now let's see so this one is an implement uh, what i can say is this one is an interface so here we need to inject okay inject inject the logger underscore token and here i can use the private like this now let's try to see the output for this one let's try to refresh this page so hopefully now here we are able to see the console logger service this dot logger and now if i try to make this one as false okay so this one i am making this one as false 
and now if I go here logger factory and here also dependency logger function is there and here we are taking the logger if status service dot status is there here we are taking it and now it must be standard pipes okay so now still we are able to get this one so what it is telling um, must be standalone widget component 264 okay let's try to check it here again so we don't have 64 so this dot logger dot log okay so now what i will try to do is instead of using this dependency and here also instead of using this dependency so here i can do constant test service is equal to inject why because that injection context is available here also so i will use the test service so now let's try to see the output for this one written test service is console logger and this one is also written in console.logger and if i try to check here the output console.logger is there and here if i check it, this dot logger logger is there provided oh sorry 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 here we are having another logger token because of that one so it is creating an issue okay fine so now if you try to see the output for this one so this time if i refresh this page now here we are able to see a console logger again we are able to see a console dot logger logger token private logger of logger okay and here also we are having a logger token fine now it is working so i have rerun this uh, ng serve so now file logger it is coming so if i try to make this one as a true then what will happen so now this time if you try to make it as a true so here this time instead of getting we are getting console logger service so now the logger factory what we have it so we are able to inject this one the injection context the runtime context it will be able to work in the factory service also so whenever you are trying to use a factory then also the inject will work this is the concept which i want to try to explain you so that means now we have learned about three places where we can the injection context or the runtime context will be working one is in the constructor or otherwise you can also use it in the inject like an inject thing in the component also you can use it here in the constructor itself inside so in the for the properties also you can implement directly and the another one is in the factory function okay so whenever you are trying to inject using the factory function then also you can able to use this injection context so the another place where we can use it is the nothing but this factory service provider also we can use it and another one is in the stack frame of a context i will try to explain you these two concepts in the next video Hope you understood about this injection context. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.